What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So this time we're going to be doing another comparison between the iPhone 11 and the Samsung Galaxy S10e, but this is a little bit different because this is a speed test. This is not a full-on in-depth comparison. I've already dropped one of those. If you guys want to see that one, go ahead and check the first link down in the description if I remember to put it down there. Or you can just search in Galaxy S10e versus iPhone 11 and my video will probably be the first one up there. But this is just a speed test. This is just going to be comparing just the speed of both phones. I'm going to test some system apps here and there there's not a lot that are similar but mostly i'll be testing kind of like the third party apps that i downloaded here i'll be testing the ram as well and kind of seeing which phone does the overall better job let's go and load up some things that they have similar let's go and do the camera three two one and all the apps are cleared out in the background and they both kind of loaded them up at the same time so not a big difference right there and i do apologize if the lighting's a little bit weird i'll try to keep it front and center but it's kind of hard at the same time let's see the app store three two one and the Galaxy S10 e actually, I think, loaded that one up faster than, you know, the iPhone 11, which is pretty surprising. Call 321. The iPhone 11 was definitely faster there. We did have a pop-up here, but, you know, regardless, it was still faster on the iPhone 11. We can do, like, their designated browser, 321. We can go ahead and go through this thing real quick on the Galaxy S10 e We can go and load up, like, let's say Google.com, or let's do Apple.com for that matter. 321. And it does look like the iPhone 11 was able to load into Apple.com faster, which is kind of weird because it is Apple phone. <laughs> Those are kind of the more system apps. Let's go and load up some of these other ones. Let's go and do Fruit Ninja. Three, two, one. And you can see the iPhone 11 was definitely faster than the Samsung Galaxy S10e. And another thing I want to note, look at the S10e. Look how small the playing angle is or the amount you can play with. Whereas on the iPhone 11, even though the screen sizes aren't crazy different, the iPhone 11 still has more in playing view than the Galaxy S10e. Stack, 3, 2, 1. They were both pretty similar. There really wasn't too big of a difference, but, you know, they were pretty close. Thank you, 3, 2, 1. And actually, the Galaxy S10 e got into that one faster. Getting into some gameplay, you can see not too much of a difference, but it was faster on the S10 e, surprisingly. Snake versus Blocks, 3, 2, 1. And actually, the S10 e was faster here. Again, I wasn't super expecting the S10 e to be you know, this much faster every single time than the iPhone 11, but this is pretty surprising. Gameplay is about the same, but again, faster on the S10 e. Netflix, 3, 2, 1. Again, the Galaxy S10e is the fast one between these two. All right, that's cool. Quizlet, three, two, one. Again, Samsung Galaxy S10e is faster. And again, I want to show you all the apps that we, you know, just loaded right now are currently loaded. There's no like crazy apps in the background on the S10e, even though it might look like it. Dropbox, three, two, one. And again, the Samsung Galaxy S10e is the faster one. Bofa, three, two, one. Again, Samsung Galaxy S10e is faster. iPhone 11 shortly behind it, but definitely faster on the S10e. Temple Run 2, 3, 2, 1. And it's looking like the iPhone 11 is just a little bit ahead of the Galaxy S10e. Not a humongous difference for sure, but a noticeable one. As you, as you can see, it was just a little bit ahead, but it wasn't like something insane. It wasn't like this one beat it by a crazy amount, but it was definitely ahead of the S10e for sure. Facebook, 3, 2, 1 iPhone 11 was definitely faster there. Twitter, 3, 2, 1. I don't know which one was faster. I think maybe the S10e was faster, but it was very, very close. I think, I don't, I don't know, maybe once I rewatch this video, I'll be able to see which one was faster, but Instagram, 3, 2, 1. Very similar. I don't think one was way ahead of the other one. Let's do Paper IO2, 3, 2, 1. And the Galaxy S10e was definitely faster there. Let's get into some gameplay, see if there's any difference. And not that much of a difference. Pretty much the exact same thing for the most part, but definitely faster on the S10e for sure. Temple Run, three, two, one. And I am in a game on the, Gal on the iPhone 11, so we'll have to restart this one. Temple Run again, three, two, one. And I don't know what just happened because I already restarted it, but I'll go ahead and restart it again. <laughs> Temple Run again, three, two, one. And it's looking like the iPhone 11 is just a split millisecond ahead of the Galaxy S10e. Yep, and it was just a little bit ahead. Nothing too crazy. Definitely very, very close. And gameplay will be about the same as well. Let's do Real Racing 3. 3, 2, 1. And it always looks like I didn't click it, and then it just always jumps into it. That always freaks me out. And 
and this one seems to be the iPhone 11, is the fast one between them. And the Galaxy S10 is shortly behind, but you can see the difference between them. For some reason, even though the Galaxy S10 sometimes is faster at you know opening the games and apps, it does seem like the iPhone 11 for these bigger, more intensive games and apps, seems like it does a little bit of a better job between them. So let's do a maze. And even hopping out of the app, did you see how much longer it took on the Galaxy S10e? Let's do a maze, three, two, one. And it was way, way faster on the iPhone 11. Not way faster, it was noticeably faster on the iPhone 11 right there. Aqua Parky, or oh, whatever this one is. <laughs> Three, two, one. The Galaxy S10e is faster. I thought the iPhone 11 was going to load that one up faster, but that was not necessarily the case. Agario. Three, two, one. And look at the loading time, you know, it takes so much longer on the S10e to load up an app than the iPhone 11. That's the one thing that I noticed right out the gate. And I saw the same thing with my S10 comparison as well. Let's do Asphalt 8, 3, 2, 1. It's like instantaneous on the iPhone 11 when you load up an app where that S10e it takes a long time. And to get into this panel, it looked like it was faster on the iPhone 11. Not really, it's still loading on the Galaxy S10e even though I loaded it before. So to kind of get into the game itself, I think was faster on the iPhone 11 for sure. Let's do Nova, three, two, one. And we're already loaded on the iPhone 11 and we're still on some random pop-up on the S10e. I don't know if I have to click it or something like that. It's like frozen. I'm not really too sure what's going on with the Galaxy S10e because I have already downloaded the game and should be all right. It's the game itself that's messed up. That was very, very weird. That specific test will be inconclusive. Let's do Dead Trigger, 3, 2, 1. And it was definitely faster on the iPhone 11 for sure. Let's do Totem, 3, 2, 1. And it's definitely faster on the iPhone 11 again. You know, it's like a little bit behind on the S10e, but it was, it was definitely faster on the iPhone 11. So Doodle Jump, 3, 2, 1. About the same. This isn't that big of an app in the first place. Asphalt 9, 3, 2, 1. iPhone 11 is ahead of the Galaxy S10e. But the S10e was able to load into it faster, which doesn't make any sense to me. Do I have to click that? Oh, it's still loading, that's why. We might be on two different sets of the game, so different two different places of the game, so that could be one thing. But that was a super interesting thing for sure, so the iPhone 11 is still loading for some reason. Now, I don't know if I have PUBG on my phone over here, which I should have downloaded it, but I guess I don't have it. So now I kind of want to load up some apps in the background and see how good RAM management is on both of them. So if we load up like the first app, for example, let's do the second one, the App Store, that'd be easier to see. 3, 2, 1. You can see that the iPhone 11 restarted it where the Galaxy S10e was still able to keep it in the background, so that was really, really interesting. Let's go ahead and do like the web browser, for example. Three, two, one. And they both did restart, but the iPhone 11 was able to get into the app faster, so that's really good. Let's go and do like Temple Run 2 if I have it here. Three, two, one. They both restarted, and we'll go ahead and see which one is the fast run between them. And it looks like the iPhone 11 is just a split second ahead, but they both restarted, and that's what I want to see. Real Racing 3, three, two, one. And the S10e did restart where the iPhone 11 was able to keep that app in the background. That's super, super interesting. Okay, now we're on this kind of portrait mode on the <laughs> Galaxy S10e. Let's do the original tumble run. Three, two, one. And you can see they both kind of restarted, but they both kind of got into it. But the iPhone 11 is just a little bit ahead of the Galaxy S10e right there. Let's do Paper Out 2. Three, two, one. And the Galaxy S10e was able to keep into it where the iPhone 11 did restart. And it's kind of the trend that I'm seeing kind of between them. It's like one sometimes will restart, the other one might restart. There's not like one consistent winner each time which is kind of, you know, weird. And even when they both restart, it's like a very close difference between them. There's not like a humongous difference between them when they restart. If I do like Twitter, for example, some of these minor ones. Let's do Netflix again, and I'm kind of just doing these just to see which one is the better one. And there doesn't really seem to be a consistent one, like I said. The s was able to get into that one faster. So, I mean, to kind of like sum up this whole entire comparison, what I can tell you is between the apps opening and everything, I do think maybe the iPhone 11 might be a little bit better. I Just a little bit, but it's like very close. Like this is like 95% of what the iPhone 11 is in my head. I think the iPhone 11 is still like a tremendous device and I think the S10e is still a tremendous device. 
But even then, like, I don't even think, because there were a lot of times, right, where the S10 a was so much faster. So even me saying that the iPhone 11 was the consistent winner, was the better overall, it's not even that the case. It's, like, very close. Sometimes the iPhone 11 was better. Sometimes the S10 e was better. If anything, dude, I think both of these are, like, head-to-head. -head. I think these are both, like, very, very compelling devices in the same league, almost. And like I said, I don't think one was way better than the other one. Very, very close. If you own an S10 e, be happy about it. If you own an iPhone 11, be super happy about it as well. But these phones, you know, did really really well so if you have any questions or you saw something i didn't in this comparison let me know in the comment section below hit that like button that would mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really discount so it'll mean so much if you guys could hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my second channel all those links are linked down below i'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out but more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out to them